First thing I always think of is this very traditional home setting, you know, male, female, very traditional roles, the breadwinner versus the stay-at-home mom. Um, that's kind of what it means to me, whether or not I agree with that, but that's what comes to mind when I hear that word. Um, I'm connected to this film project as a employee of the Cuyahoga County Board of Health and we're one of the funders for the project. Um, our funds ultimately come from the Cuyahoga County Commissioners and we have a long-standing history of addressing reproductive health issues in the community. And Scenarios USA looked like a unique opportunity, um, a little bit different way for us to engage our young people and our school districts. We are, I am the program manager for the Youth and Community Development Program at Scenarios USA. I've been working with Arlena, the writer, on just becoming someone who's contributing to culture through her film. I'm connected to the Scenarios film Manchild by my student. Uh, she was the winner of the national contest held here in Cleveland. What I hope to accomplish with this short film is basically expanding people's minds about masculinity because it's made up of many dynamics and I'm glad that I learned it. So hopefully what I learned and what I put in the film, like the messages that I sent, other people will learn about it also. Erlena, Erlena captured the complexity of what young people deal with when they're trying to figure out who their own identity and whether or not they want to measure up to what society thinks it means to be a man or whether they want to measure up to what they think inside it means to be a man. She took it beyond the black and white images that we see on normal media and made it very rich. When I first read the script, I thought it was a impressive voice, a really unique voice and a strong voice. And that's really what you look for, uh, especially with someone so young. Um, and the theme was picked by Scenarios USA by Maura Minsky and uh, Kristen. Yeah, they sent me the package and it seemed like a great organization to get involved with. And uh, when they sent it to me two years ago, uh, I didn't have uh, I didn't have the time, I was about to do my second film, and I said, call me next year, and if I'm available, I will. And uh, Maura took me up on my offer, and that's why I'm here. One of the things that traditional masculinity might say is that oh, the person decides what they are. Like, I decide. I'm independent. And one of the things that I would hope for people to realize is that sometimes the things that we use to define ourselves, we don't create those definitions. It's a collective process. It's um, inherently social. So masculinity to me is, it means society and self and the tension between society and self. Masculinity has two sides to me. One is being a part of who I am and that has uh, multiple parts and the other one is an image and that image is uh, what I was brought up with and what I was taught by my own father and that was um, to be strong, to be courageous, to be a military man, to fight for our country and those were all things that I was afraid of. So um, masculinity to me is actually being the opposite of what I was taught. So I have a wide view of what masculinity is. What, I, what I've learned the most in um, how, having my students deal with masculinity is how um, entrenched they are with the societal stereotypes that the media um, pervades to them. They're so plugged in with their technology, their their internet, their Facebook, their MP3 players, that they're they're not thinking for themselves. So one of the things that I try to help them to understand is that what you see and what you hear in the media and in your own small community isn't all of what the world has to offer. You have to look at masculinity in terms of eras. You have to look at masculinity in terms of ethnicity, in terms of your own home base and 
the country as a whole. And what we did was we explored that through a couple of books that we've read. I know my daughter has a voice and I just prayed that this, um, this film would speak for her. You know, she's, like I said, she's pretty deep. So how this week has been going by, it's like, Erlena is so laid back. It's like, I always ask her, you know, well, how you feeling today? You know, um, has, has it really hit you? Are you, are you scared? Or, she's like, no, I'm okay. You know, I'm just taking it day by day. But she did share with me this morning as we was on our way here this morning. She did share with me. The only, she, did, she said, I don't care about, you know, all the, you know, what's going to take place and all the setup. And I said, all I care about is my thoughts and my message comes out whatever, you know, they're shooting on to make sure that my voice got to speak through what they're shooting. If I could tell, if I could, um, like, have somebody go away with a message from this, then um, I'd have them go away with a message that in life you make mistakes, in life things happen, and um, everybody's not perfect, but you can still try your best. You can still do whatever you can to well, succeed and just um, be a better person. I hope to gain from having Manchild produce another perspective about like filmmaking because I am learning a lot more like all the time it takes and all the titles that the people have like, really just time basically there's a lot of things that happens behind the scenes that I never really knew about my short film changed my life tremendously like I can't even explain everything that it really had changed about my perspective on some things but I guess it shows that I'm capable of doing something this big. Like I always wanted to do something, but I didn't think it would be on this type of massive scale.